Well, I like to do uh, one-of-a-kind metalworking projects. And I, I think this one here qualifies. What I've built here is a side draft, air-cooled, brake drum, coal forge. Uh, the reason I went uh, air-cooled is uh, we're up here in northern Minnesota and uh, I got an outside uh, blacksmith shop and that water-cooled uh, system just doesn't work in the wintertime. So the idea behind the air-cooling uh, is uh, I'm using an abundance of air. I direct part of it uh, into the combustion and then I use the excess air uh, to cool the, the air manifold. Then I'm using a brake drum from a semi-trailer. Now this is really good material, really nice uh, fine grain cast iron. Well the first thing I did is I turned that uh, flange extension off so I'd have a nice flat surface here where the two made it together. But you can see the cross section here. Uh, down there at the flange it's about an inch thick and then uh, three quarters of five eighths in the middle and uh, even at the thinnest it's a half inch and like I say it's, uh, it's real nice fine grain cast iron. Then I put the brake drum uh, on a rotary table in my milling machine and I uh, milled out this uh, slot for the air box and I put a hole in the middle for uh, ash dump and the uh, difficult part was I had to mill uh, a hole for the air box to come in and I, I started out on the second hole from the bottom here and I, I wanted the air box to end up uh, laying right against the uh, outside part of the drum. So what I had to do is I had to move that hole uh, toward the drum and I didn't want to just move it toward the drum and not move it up because otherwise it would have ended up uh, real low and I would have lost a lot of uh, width of, for my, uh, my coke pile. So as I was um, boring out this hole each time I reset the boring bar, I would move it uh, toward the outside and then uh, toward the upper side. The higher I got, the more uh, widths I had, but then I was also uh, creating a, a, a deeper uh, pocket for the coke. And uh, that, that turned out to be a, a a good compromise because uh, I can just fill the bottom with sand. The brake room half uh, slides over the, uh, the end plate with the uh, air tube uh, sticking up and then the air box itself uh, fits over that tube. They were machined uh, mirror image so that uh, one half fits right over the other. Line up the, the two tubes where they come together. Then I use the, uh, the existing holes in the brake drum uh, to align the end plates. The next part would be the tie rods.
So my original idea was to drill uh, dowel holes on the inside of these flange here and dowel it together. Uh, but I found out that I didn't have enough headroom in my milling machine uh, to drill holes. So I ended up just putting those slots in there and then I can use, a, then I just use a carriage bolt. So this is my uh, air slide valve uh, controller. Like I said in the introduction, uh, I'm using the excess air uh, to cool the, uh, the air manifold. So the air comes in on this side and it either gets directed into the fire through these uh, two nozzle holes or the, and the excess goes out the end. You can control the amount of air going into the fire uh, two different ways. You can uh, you can turn it and uh, open and close the uh, air, or else you can slide it. Uh, in this position, uh, I've got two uh, stainless steel nozzles going into the firebox. Uh, in this position, uh, both of them are open full throttle, and then you can um, you can throttle those down by turning it, or else you can uh, throttle it down by sliding it. When you slide it all the way in then it uh, shuts uh, the near uh, nozzle off entirely and then directs uh, air just to the second one. So I've got removable legs that go on there and uh, then I've got some, uh, some supports uh, to hold the legs in place. I've got a follow-up uh, video coming real soon It'll feature the actual uh, operation of this forge. And there will also be some nice uh, footage of uh, the making of this uh, side drop forge.